We'll start our chapter on symmetry and group theory by me bringing your attention to some helpful websites that you'll find uh, very useful for your studies in this area. So the first is symmetry.otterbein.edu, which I'll show in a second. That's called Symmetry at Otterbein, uh, developed by Otterbein University in Ohio in the United States. That has sections on there, including a tutorial where they can show you about the various uh, symmetry elements and symmetry operations I'm going to describe and use in this chapter. Um, there's a gallery of various different molecules, um, everything from water up to a buckyball, showing you the different symmetry elements and operations in those particular molecules. Uh, and also a challenge where you can test your skills uh, and practice on some of the molecules that they have there. Uh, the second, which I'll also show in a minute, is symmetry.jacobs-university.de from Jacobs University in Germany. And that's where I'm going to look at for all these what are called character tables, which are going to be very useful throughout this chapter. Um, each molecule is going to belong to what is called a point group, and each point group is going to have what's called a character table. And I'm going to be using those character tables extensively throughout this chapter. So the source for where those character tables are coming from and where you can find for every point group you desire when practicing or doing homework assignments, uh, you can find those on that website as well. So let's take a look at what is on these websites. So the first, Symmetry at Otterbein, uh, developed by uh, Dean Johnston and collaborators at Otterbein University. We have, uh, there's our URL, so starting at the, at the home page, uh, mentioning what exactly this, small, this website is and what it contains. You see there um, uh, some type of organic molecule showing the mirror planes and some of the axes of rotation that it has. Um, the sections in there, the tutorial, shows an introduction to kind of the different symmetry elements that molecules have where you can practice um, seeing what those different uh, operations look like. There's a little JS mole applet that comes up which if I click I can rotate through the molecule here. So they have ammonia and then on the right here I can click. They can show me a mirror plane that ammonia has, the symmetry element, and then if I click reflect it does the symmetry operation where it's reflecting the atoms through that mirror plane. And then the other, uh, the other operations as well, like rotation, improper rotation, inversion. Water molecule, you can see it has what we'll learn in future videos is called a C2 axis, where it's rotating by 180 degrees and resulting in an unchanged molecule. So there's those tutorials. Um, gallery is what's most useful for me. You can study different kinds of molecules and it'll show you all of these symmetry elements and operations that it has. BH3 borane um, is, you'll be able to determine at the end of this chapter, it has a D3H point group. It has all of these different axes of rotation, C3, a bunch of C2s that are perpendicular to that, um, and some mirror planes in that molecule as well. So a lot of times there will be things that are fairly difficult to visualize, like this crown ether is one of the most difficult molecules to visualize the symmetry elements that are there. But notice that they actually are there. For example, if I rotate it by 180, or, uh, rotate it by 120 degrees, it does end up unchanged. But a lot of symmetry and group theory is very visual. So having websites like this where you can see these things in practice is going to be extremely helpful and much uh, of much more use than just staring at uh, two-dimensional lectures or a two-dimensional piece of paper. Then as I mentioned they're going to be associated with all these point groups for our different molecules, things called character tables. Water will we'll learn is the C2V point group and it has uh, this information here which is going to be useful to us in future videos for determining different things about what the symmetry of the molecule implies about its properties. So pretty much every molecule applies to one of these point groups and depending on what those point groups are they could have very large character tables like the one uh, for D6H like benzene or very small character tables like CS um, for a molecule that is uh, just a planar molecule. 
So those are the two websites, symmetry.jacobsuniversity.de, symmetry.otterbein. Um, those are the things that I'm going to reference throughout the rest of this chapter and be using, and I would suggest that you use uh, to great effect in your studying as well.